Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I have a pretty cool one for you guys. Miro was kind enough to send out their Miro Cedar Bluetooth arm blood pressure monitor, free for review. So big thank you and shout out to them. Let's take a look at this and see if it could be right for you. So obviously this is for home use and taking a look around the box. Here's what it contains, blood pressure monitor, upper arm cuff, micro USB cable. That should be USB-C, it's 2024. Uh, instruction manual and four AAA batteries. Here are the operating conditions, and here is what the app looks like, but we're gonna explore all of that in this video, so sit back, relax, let's crack this box open. Got Senior Stabby here. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, here we go. Let's slide this out, just like so. And it says open, so peel this. Wow, this is better unboxing experience than Apple products, that's for sure. So, we are immediately presented with a very nice box here. Better monitor, better progress, okay. We've got a quick start guide. Looks very easy. Just install the batteries, download the app, pair it, prepare to measure, sit correctly. All right, looks pretty easy. Here is the longer guide. So in case you need something more in depth, there you go. Here's the main portion of the unit that you will be interacting with. Looks like we got a Bluetooth button, start, stop, and a menu button. And on the back, this is where you put the batteries. And it does have little feet on the back, so it doesn't roll around when you place it down. And here is the armband. So this does feel very high quality. It feels, honestly, medical grade. Wow, that is kind of crazy. And here is that little tube that you would plug into there. And it comes with Duracell batteries, perfect. And here is USB-A to micro USB. That's a no-no. I do not like that in 2024. It's gonna get the job done, it just, this needs to be like USB-C to USB-C, or at least USB-A to USB-C. Nothing else in the box, let's clean this up and let's give it a try. First things first, let's go ahead and install these batteries right away. So we will put one, two, three, four, just like that. Let's see, it does boot up right away, so that's cool. Take that off just like so. Now I already downloaded the app right here. It's the MiRaw Health, so I'm gonna open that up. Let's go ahead and get this going. I'm gonna show you guys the full step-by-step -step what this is. So yeah, it looks like you have to agree to their stuff. And of course we're going to allow. So it has a little pop-up asking you to allow Bluetooth. I allowed that. Uh, let's go ahead and add device. And this is the Cedar series. Press and hold the Bluetooth key until the Bluetooth icon appears on the screen and flashes. So let's do that right now. Pressing and holding. All right, it is flashing, it's right there. Up Top. It's hard to see with these studio lights, but there you go. Start connection, and this should be it. Let's go ahead and get these going. Success, perfect, that's what we wanna see. And that's it. So it looks like we are all paired up. That was super easy. Uh, let's see, what do we got in here? Looks like you got a user manual right in the app, so that is cool. So in case you lose yours, you can, that's actually really clean. I like the way that this is set up. Uh, let's go to about, all right, looks good. And it looks like you can even turn on Apple Health integration if you really want. So we've got data and we've got trends. Looks like it goes in the left side, so let's plug it in. All right, now I have no idea how accurate this is gonna be because I'm standing uh, and you're supposed to sit, but let's just go ahead and get it going here. All right, I got the cuff on my arm. It is going up. I'm obviously gonna test this off camera. I am just doing it right now on camera to show you guys. That's it right there, doing its thing right now. Getting tighter and tighter. Wow, that's getting tight. One twelve over seventy four. The pulse of one oh three. Okay, I mean that's a good reading, but I don't know that that's exactly correct because, uh, like I said, I'm standing up. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna follow their instructions here and take a couple more readings, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've been messing with this a little bit off camera here. You can see I just took another reading uh, right here at 8.40 p.m. It was 116 over 64. Uh, and if I drill down into it, I can actually see more information. So I'm gonna set this down for just a minute. Let's take a look at this. So systolic, 116, diastolic, 64, pulse is 96. Normal, excellent, keep it, okay. Uh, you can remark, so this was morning, motion, whatever you want to put. That's going to kind of put it as uh, what it was at that specific time, so you can remember, kind of like a journal. So I'm going to hit done here. It's going to say success, 
And then now anytime I go into it, I can see this was after a meal. So maybe that will help you find a trend as to what's going on. Maybe it goes up after a meal or it's lower in the morning, something like that. You can click on trend here and this allows you to see a graph. Now, obviously this is just one, but if you took yours every day, maybe you have an issue with high blood pressure, then this would be helpful to see the trends. Now, is this gonna be as accurate as going into a doctor's office? Probably not. Uh, but I will say that what you want to look for are the trends. So even if this thing's way off, uh, if you do this every day, you will kind of see the trend of, uh, you know, even if it's off by 10 or 20 points, you'll at least be able to see when it goes up and down and that'll help give you a better understanding of what's going on. You can do it by month, week, quarter. Uh, and obviously if you have a bunch of readings, this is going to be super helpful. You can also share it uh, and download the data if you want. And you can do that right here and you can select your time range. If someone else requested to see it. Very, very intuitive app here. This is a very simple app, but it's got very nice layouts here. So this is obviously just August, but I could drill down into July, September, whatever. Maybe you have some from a couple of years ago. This app makes it easy. Now I know a question a lot of people are gonna ask is, how big is this cuff and is it gonna you know, fit my arm? So talking about size here, it is very big. So it easily got around my arms. Uh, it can tighten down to pretty much any arm size. If your arm size is much bigger than this, uh, you might have bigger problems than blood pressure. Size should not be an issue for most people. Now let's talk about this device. I really like this. You just set it on your desk. Uh, you could leave it there, maybe do it once in the morning. There's some that are super portable where they're, it's all in one, like device this big. Those, the accuracy, in my opinion, sometimes isn't the best. This should be a little better. Now it does feel super solid. Let's just quickly click on the menu button here. Uh, so you got memory one, memory two. So you can see the different readings right on here. If you don't have your phone handy, uh, you can just go through it right here. Obviously this shows you the time as well. And I have to say coming into this review uh, without opening it, I was expecting the setup to be much more complicated and everything. This has been super easy. Uh, if you're looking for an at home blood pressure monitor, this might be something to check out. I'm going to leave a link to it down below. If you guys want to pick up this model, they've got different colors and you guys can go through those and see which ones, you know, the best price, whichever one looks best to you. But I'm very pleased with their application. It's just clean. It gets the job done. When you're sitting there at your desk, you know, taking your blood pressure measurement, I really like this clean layout. This is a huge display. It's much brighter in real life. It's just because I got these studio displays beaming down on it and it automatically turns off like this after a few minutes of non-use. Big thank you and shout out to them for sending this product out free for review. Like I said, links to it down below. If you like the video, hit the big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.